The real reason this 4S is here is for uh, its annual service. So we're doing the fluids, filters, we just did the brake fluid as well, blood everything, both bleeder screws with our pressure bleeder, got it all hooked up, got it at 15 PSI, we also help it out some, it's pretty much almost bled. I'm getting a level at the right, correct measurement and then we're going to close off this caliper. So then after this, we pretty much inspect everything while we have it out. We inspect the liners, the brakes, the pads. Now he's got some very weird wear pattern on the rotors. This is actually causing vibration. As you can see, his pad still has a good amount of life, at least 45%, 40%. So uh, we're just going to bleed it off, replace the pads and rotors per his request, and uh, do the mid-service which will check all the fluids, filters, so we got this already unscrewed to drain the oil. And we'll also check, of course, the coolant level. It's a little bit low, so we'll top that off as part of the service. Check the power steering as well. Power steering is really good. It's actually been changed a couple years ago, so it's good to go. This oil out of this 4S right now, and here's what the magnetic drain plug looks like as you can see there's some black metal debris let me see if I can focus this there it is uh, there's a a little bit of grayish material that's ferrous metal now that's not from the IMS because this thing has an IMS solution installed this is from like cam lobes wear any other metal components um, yeah it could also be from the uh, valve lifters and chains because this is a black type metal so this is really good to have a magnetic drain plug to inspect so most of our cars that we do the IMS uh, solution upgrade we will install a magnetic drain plug unless customer doesn't want it uh, I haven't had one that didn't so this is a very good test to do when you're draining the oil to check to see if there's any kind of weird abnormal we also check the filters out these will get cut open and we'll make sure there's no uh, gold material or anything in there for like rod bearing issues or such because these can actually suffer from that uh, from especially if they're tracked or abused placing these brake pads and rotors some of these get rusted pretty bad this pin here if you try to remove it you can break this off so you have to use uh, penetrating oil wire brush to get all that debris out because for you to push this out once you get the carter pin out and you try to push this out, you're not going to be able to get it. So this is what it takes. It's the, the pain of being a mechanic. Like all this rust pitting, this will need to get replaced. And this is why it's very hard to uh, remove it because it's very tight here. If you try to slide it out, it won't come out. As you can see, there's a little bit of rust. Probably had some salt over the years. It is a 2004, so. Brand new rotors and pads. This 4S looks beautiful. That's what it takes. Thank you for watching. You guys have a nice day.